when I think of Zen, I think about simplicity and serenity and maybe a little bit of enlightenment thrown in. And of course, it makes me dream of an uncluttered living space, which is not very likely in my life. But today we have Joan Amaral with us in the Marblehead Zen Center. And she is here to answer in five minutes or less, what is Zen and how that might apply to you and your life and maybe some peace and tranquility. So thank you for having me. You're welcome. I know this is a big, big topic. Yes. Zen. Yes. Can you give me, I'll give you a challenge. Can you give me a short definition? Meditation. Okay. That's easy. Yeah, because it's actually a transliteration Zen, came, it's a Japanese word, it mm -hmm. came, transliterated from Chan, China, when Zen came to Japan from China, and before that it was Dhyana, mm -hmm. Jhana, which means uh, concentration, meditation, and Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. So it kind of tracks the, the trajectory of this thing we call Zen. And it's interesting that it arrived in California or America, and we're still calling it Zen. Right. That's really interesting. That is amazing. Some people might say that we translate it as mindfulness, right. but that's not quite it for me personally. So in Zen, you do a lot of sitting. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. what, you know, there's so much going on in the world and people, I think, will question, okay, if my kid's sick or I can't pay the rent, like, why would I sit and yes. stare at my belly button? Yes. Well, if we don't stare at our belly button, <laughs> although, because that would throw your alignment off, you know, navel gazing, right. as they be, say, that yeah. hurts. It's, you know, the long spine and the head on top of the spine. And as Martin Luther King said, I believe, Martin Luther King Jr., when your spine is upright, no one can ride you. Hmm. There's a dignity in this posture. So no matter how bad it gets, taking this noble upright posture, it's training in confidence, you know, confidence in this body, this breath, hmm. this life this reality, no matter how bad it feels right now, because I can't pay the rent, because my kid's sick, because I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I think this is one of the great gifts of Sazen, of taking the noble posture. So can anyone practice then? Do you have to be yes, no. a devotee of No, that? no, 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 not at all. No, anybody, please. It's very important to me. I've mentioned that I work with people in jail homeless people, people on the street. For me personally, Zen is the great leveler. Thank you for having me, oh, explaining you're Zen. I think I can speak a little more clearly to that now. Well, thank you for helping to pull it out of me too. <laughs> you're welcome. So if you are interested in knowing more about Zen or even experiencing it, you can go to marbleheadzencenter.org and there's listings for all the classes and Zazen sittings, the meditations here, which happen all week long. And next time on Health and Wellness, we are going to talk about being in service. So I hope you can join us then.